Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Dr. Coco's Medmonics. Today I'm going to go over the spinal cord injuries. These are pretty high yield, but after you go through this video, I hope you'll be as excited as I am when I get these questions because I'm like, oh, I know these. This is going to be an easy question and you can just, you know, hit the right answer and go next. Um, so I hope this helps you. First, I'm going to talk about spinal muscular atrophy. Um, and for this one, if you can remember SMA for spinal muscular atrophy, then maybe you can remember it's symmetric motor anterior horn. So SMA. And how does this help you? Well, if it's going to be symmetric. It's going to be all motor weakness. And it's going to be in the anterior horn if they ever show you a picture. And if you can remember pretty much S, honestly, if you remember this is symmetric, this will help you with a lot of different questions because they like to compare this to polio, which is going to be asymmetric. Um, they also like to ask about this Wernick-Hoffman disease, which is a problem in your SNRP. Um, and something that I had a friend tell me that really helped is like, SNRPs like to cleave stuff. So if you can remember like SNRP, SNRP, like you just SNRP, SNRP, and you snip something. Um, that might help you with a question, as well as uh, remembering that it's in the survival motor neuron. So if you can remember that um, M is motor, that might help you with this question as well. So spinal muscular atrophy is for symmetric motor weakness of the anterior horn, SMA. Next we have Lou Gehrig's disease, and in first aid they like to use the LOU to help you remember um, the drug, but I decided to make it a whole mnemonic. So Lou for Lou Gehrig's disease, also called um, amylotrophic lateral sclerosis. So the L is for lower motor neuron and the U is gonna be for upper motor neuron. And so you're gonna have both lower and upper motor neuron lesions. As well as the O I remember for superoxide dismutase. And if you go through the pathway and I wanna say the immuno section. This is the same superoxide dismutase that's in the respiratory burst pathway. Uh, actually took me like weeks to figure out that that was what they were talking about. So Lou is for lower motor neuron superoxide dismutase and upper motor neuron lesion. And then also the Lou can help you remember Reluzol, which is going to be the treatment for ALS. Next, we have occlusion of the anterior spinal artery, and I like to think of this one if you look at this spinal cord. I think of this kind of looking like a weird butt, like a little butt cheeks. And so this is going to be the um, ass cheek side of the cord. Because you're looking at the ass, you see the little butt cheeks. Um, maybe you can even think this this anterior spinal artery, maybe it's like the butt hole or something because it's kind of in the middle. And how does that help remember anything? Well, if you've seen my other spinal cord videos, and you remember I like to refer to it as hot pants, which is the spinothalamic track. And okay, you put pants on your ass, so you're gonna have a loss of your hot pants or your um, spinothalamic track because we're looking at the ass side of the spinal cord. And you'll also have, for many of these at, the lesion, you'll have a lower motor neuron weakness, and below it will be an upper motor neuron lesion. But for this one, if you can remember that this is the ass side of the spinal cord, then maybe you can remember you put pants on your ass, so you lose your hot pants. And this can show up if you've had um, a triple A repair. So if they talk about a patient who's had a triple A, they go in and surgically repair it and all of a sudden they have a loss of pain and temperature, then you're thinking that this is the um, anterior spinal artery. Next is gonna be tabus dorsalis, or you can think of dorsiphilis. Um, but you can also remember if it's tabus dorsalis, dorsal is literally in the name. So this is gonna be a problem with your dorsal column. If you can remember the DCS video, then if you have a problem with your dorsal column, you're gonna have a problem with proprioception fine touch. Um, and this is associated with syphilis. You can either remember like tabies, tertiary syphilis, or you can try and remember dorsiphilis. Whatever helps you, um, maybe like the sketchies will help you. But this one, 
Tavy's dorsalis for dorsal column. Next we have sphingomyelina, and I like to think of this as centromyelina. Um, this is the only one that's in the center, so that'll help you if you can remember centromyelina. This is also going to be a problem at the um, anything that crosses, right? So damage at the anterior white commissure is going to have a problem with anything that would cross the spinal cord. And what crosses the spinal cord? Well, we know from the DCS, only your hot pants will cross at the spinal cord and everything else crosses higher. So you're going to have a problem with your hot pants. And I always try and think of this because of, um, they say it's like a cape distribution. So if you can think of somebody wearing a cape in the center of their back, that might help you remember that it's centromyelina, as well as hot pants. So the cape's gonna cover up their hot pants. And if you can think of some weirdo wearing a cape, okay, we're gonna put cherries on his hot pants. And so that's associated with a Chiari malformation. Um, I know thinking of like a pair of cherry hot pants is kind of weird, but if you can think of a weirdo in a cape, I mean, is it that weird to think he's wearing some type of weird pants? Next we have, um, the beta 12 deficient, or sorry, vitamin B12 deficiency. Um, and this one is actually all of DCS. And so they like to call it subacute combined degeneration, which has S, C, and D. So if you can think of all of that mnemonic from the DCS video, you can think, okay, we have a B12 deficient alcoholic patient. We're going to call DCS on them and we're going to take away their kids, right? Because we're going to the Department of Child Services. Um, as well as you can just look at that picture and see the DC and S all being affected. Um, and that's one of the most high yield ones. They love to ask about vitamin B12 and pretty much all of the vitamins. Um, and yeah, hopefully this video helped you with all of your um, spinal cord lesions. And if you like this video, um, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.